Okay, today is about Jimmy, and we're going to show you the dry kneading that, well, Claire's going to show you the dry kneading that we're doing on Jimmy. He is a mechanic, and he has had a C56 and C67 acute disc bulge from putting his neck in all weird and wonderful positions being a mechanic. That's given him a radiculopathy through the left arm. He's recovering well, but he's still getting upper trap tightness, cervical spine, muscle tightness. And we can massage that and loosen up, but what works really well is kneading, and we're going to do that on Jimmy today to show you how the kneading works, and Claire's going to guide us through that, just to show us where we put the needles to try and get that muscle release, and then as well as trying to get some little twitches, and you'll see that today. So. So sometimes this can be a little bit nerve-breaking for people, but Jimmy's a tough guy, so <laughs> he'll be fine. Um, if you've never had dry kneading before, it can be a bit of a phobic experience, but once you've had it after a while, you get used to it. With this one, he's got pretty big up traps, um, and so what Claire needs to find is the best point for that upper trap, goes through the skin first, and then she's gonna try and find that real knotty part of that, you can see that work in there, knotty part of that muscle where she will get a little twitch as it hits a trigger point and with this type of kneading you don't need too much there you go okay Jimmy yeah good <laughs> and it is a weird sort of feeling like sometimes people describe it as a little like a deep ache or a sort of a electrical type pain that hits a trigger point um, and you can get some sort of bruisey feeling after but once that recovers that muscle relaxation effect that you get is so effective. Is that one okay, Jimmy? Sorry? You feel okay with that one? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Is it as bad as you thought? No, 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 it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Sometimes we get nice. Which one are you doing now? Uh, we can do multifidus, cervical okay. spine. Right, this one is going to be cervical spine. We're going to go deep into, right sort of into the gutter of that vertebrae, into the deep multivitus layers. And this will just help try and reduce some of that deep stiffness, that sort of ongoing in there, that guarding that protects that part. But yes, it protects, but unfortunately, when it gets too much, it actually hinders him in his movement. We need to get his neck moving to try and improve his oral symptoms. Especially that he's healing up, you just need to get rid of all this accessory stiffness. In and out, there it goes. He's breathing hard. <laughs> he can't shut. Yeah. Sorry, Jimmy, last one. Yeah. See if I can get you dancing. Weird. 